Oi, Calimera, hola, hi, welcome to eShop Talk. I'm Alberto and in today's video I will expand on the importance of product order on your Shopify store. Why is it important to sort your products in a smart way and how to do it to achieve the best results? But before we start, make sure to like this video, click the subscribe button and hit that bell right next to it to never lose one of our stories. Now, imagine that you run an online footwear store and a potential customer feels the urgent need to buy a pair of shoes so he enters your store just to face hundreds and hundreds of results. After browsing for a couple of minutes, he just gets overwhelmed and quits. This story does not have a happy ending, but it's a perfect example to understand the need for product sorting. Does any given visitor have the time or the interest to browse through each pair individually? Most likely not. Maybe he will filter the shoes by price, but that may still not be enough to narrow down his choices and help him decide on a purchase. So to help your visitors, organize your products into easy to browse collections. Imagine your customer is going through your collections like they are browsing into a section or an aisle in a brick and mortar shop. Then with the right sorting and filters, your customers can easily narrow down the products from many to just a few relevant ones that better fit their needs. Sorting can also speed up the product search and selection process considerably, improving your customer experience. Finally, product listing gives your visitors a more comprehensive overview of the available products and helps them make a more informed decision. Summing up, providing an easy navigation and browsing while placing the right product at the top will increase the chances that your potential customer will find their match, and having that match visible is crucial for a successful sale. So how to sort your products on Shopify? By default, your items are sorted in an alphabetical order, but you surely want to use a more efficient parameter, like rating, popularity, sales numbers, price, or something else. Let's go to the admin view of our Shopify homepage to create a new collection and then sort the products inside of that collection. For that, I will click on Products on the left side menu, and then Collections under it. Here I can see a list of all the available collections. I will want to start a new one for this purpose. So for that, I will click on Create Collection on the top right side. I will give it a name. I will scroll down and on Collection Type, I will select Manual. Then on the top, I will click Save. That's it. My collection is created. So now I need to populate it with some products. For that, I will click on All Products on the left side menu and I have a list of all available products. I will click on a few products to add to the collection. And I will click on More Actions right here on the top, Add to Collections. Here I have a list of available collections where I can add the products. I will select the one that I just created, Valuable, and click Save on the bottom. That's it. Our products are added to the collection. Now let's go back to the collection. Click on the Collection option on the left side menu and select the collection that we just created. Scroll down and you have all available products. Now, how to sort these products? Here I have the field Sort. Click on that. I have a few good options, but I will select Manually and go with my hunch. So I think that this is going to be my top selling products followed by this one, and then this is going to be the third one, followed by this. That's it. The order of the projects is adjusted, and now I want to see how it looks, so I'll scroll up and click on the eye icon to view. Click on that, and voila! The products on my collections are sorted, and this is the result. On the first line, I have my big guns, the ones that I believe that are going to sell the best, and then I have the other products. That's it. If you have anything to add or any questions on this, please let me know right there in the comments below. And before we finish, just a few more things to keep in mind. 1. Divide the products into collection and group them by relevant parameters, like theme, type of use, type of season, category, etc. 2. Always put the most attractive photos at the top, preferably on the first two rows of the page. 3. Be careful with the number of products in a single row. If you place too many, then it will be harder to explore the site. If you show too little, you will extend the scrolling time. And four, keep your heavy guns visible. Having a promotional items and your best sellers at the top will increase the chances of a sale. There you go. The right product order can be the reason why your sales numbers take off, and the lack of it, a reason to see them fall. 
However, now we have all the information necessary to have a nice, well-organized eShop and benefit from it. As always, feel free to watch this video again and as many times necessary. If you found this content useful or if you simply liked it, show us your love and appreciation by clicking that like button and subscribing to the eShop Talk channel. If you want us to cover any specific topic or if you have something to add, please let me know right there in the comments below. I am Alberto Talking eShop and until next time, keep your sales up.